Hey, it's Chris with LG Squared. I'm at the High Performance Home in Marietta, Georgia. And this video is about the connection between the garage and the house. You know, in the garage we, is where we store our vehicles, we store chemicals and other equipment that have fumes that we don't want to get inside inside the home. So we we have uh, we have to to control those fumes to prevent them from getting inside. You can do it physically or you can do it with mechanical ventilation. Uh, in our case, we've done both. So the, the, the idea is that we have a continuous air uh, control layer around the entire house portion that's separate and not connected to the air control layer of the garage. And a lot of times that's difficult to do when you have the framing connected uh, of the garage connected to the framing of, of the house. So we've come up with a design here that allows us to have uh, a physically separated structure for the garage from the house maintaining the detached garage look. I'm inside the garage now and behind me is the wall, the exterior side of the wall of the house and to either side of it you can see the inside face of the exterior wall of the garage. So the garage wall stops here, the house wall starts here and continues over to the to over here and then the garage wall picks up again. This part of the garage framing is completely separate from the home by this by this four inch gap here and a seven inch gap up here. Structurally, it's connected at the roof with, uh, with some outriggers, the same outriggers that we used for the overhangs. See these outriggers here? These same outriggers are installed at this roof right here and extend into this seven inch gap that we have at the top of the wall where this piece of metal flashing is. Now this metal flashing is continuous around the entire wall here of the house. Let's see, it goes all the way down to there. We've shaped this flashing so that we have one tab that, that uh, attaches to the house wall and then one tab that attaches to the garage wall. We've, uh, we've sealed that with a joint and seam filler from Polywall blue barrier system and anytime we have a joint where we couldn't where the metal the piece of metal flashing uh, stops because they're only 10 feet long each so at that where two pieces come together we we use that joint and seam filler to make that connection now uh, the Insulation on the home is four inches on the walls and seven inches on the roof. So our flashing here is four inches wide and it's seven inches up here. In this seven inches, that's where our outriggers come and they support the wall of the roof here, the wall of the garage, excuse me, here that supports the roof, the roof load. And we also have some clips that we've used uh, to attach these outriggers to the, the sheathing of the home. So the, the two by sixes that run into this, this cavity here support this wall. And over here, this is a freestanding wall. There is no physical connection between here or here in terms of structure. It's only an air barrier connection. And so we've isolated the two structures from each other with basically this, this flashing detail. The insulation on the walls of the home continue from the exterior wall into this piece of flashing and then on the other side of the flashing here, the insulation continues through the garage to the next piece of flashing and then on the other side of that flashing all the way up to it, continue along the back wall and the same thing on the roof. The insulation just runs all the way up to this piece of flashing. So, completely continuous separation between garage and, and home. 
Now, in addition to that, because, because the garage is airtight, because we have treated it the same way as the house in terms of our air control air, we want to, to control the air that's in the home. So we have a motion sensor exhaust system uh, that will, anytime there's any movement in here, whether it's from the garage door, uh, the pedestrian door that goes into the house, it will trigger this fan to turn on and that's what this is here. This will exhaust out, out of the home here, and it'll run for at least 20 minutes to get any of those bad, any of that bad air out when there's any activity in here. Uh, and so if the door opens from the home, it puts the garage under a negative pressure. So it's pulling, it's pulling air out of the house. So if that door opens, it's gonna pull air from the house instead of pushing it into the home. So it's gonna pull it into the garage and out that exhaust. If this door's open and that door's open, same thing, it's gonna pull air in that direction. But we always have a negative pressure in the, in the garage because of our exhaust system right here. Well, that does it from the High Performance Home in Marietta, Georgia. This video has been about the connection between our attached, detached garage and the house and how we are controlling our, our, the, the air in the garage from getting into the home. I uh, hope this has been helpful. Be sure to share this with anyone who might be uh, interested in something like this and be sure to hit subscribe and follow along as we talk about all the other details, building science, contemporary design, all that about this home and future homes. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.